Hello guys, good morning. So uh, today we're gonna start uh, the day with making um, a quick video tutorial of a Gamma wallet. So uh, first things first, you have to download the wallet. You go to komodoplatform.com, then you'll scroll down and you'll get your desktop wallet. The latest version that they currently have uh, is 27C. That's the latest version of the wallet. Uh, I'm using Windows, so basically um, this is what they have here, 64-bit version of Ag Agama Wallet, okay? So I already have the version installed, I'm going to go down, I'm going to show you exactly what you'll see when you get the wallet. Uh, you can have the wallet running on native mode, I'll explain a little, li a little bit later about the native mode, but first I'm going to go with the light mode because most of you are not loading the full Komodo blockchain. So. The light mode allows you to get um, a light version of the wallet without loading the Komodo, the full Komodo blockchain with some servers um, that have uh, already uh, that done for you, okay? So uh, what I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the most important part of the wallet if you're using it in, in light mode, okay? So the most important part is to save your seat. <laughs> That's it. It's if you don't save your seat correctly, um, you are gonna uh, have headaches with this wallet. Okay, so what I do first is that I always copy my seat. This is a demonstration seat that I have. I always copy my seat in a notepad document. So um, if you copy it in a Word uh, document, you can lose, you can add some spaces. You can even add a character without noticing it because of the word format uh, being different from a plain text format as Notepad. Okay, so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna demonstrate to you what um, you should see when you enter uh, your key or sorry your seat correctly. You will see that I have this um, address here. That's my current address for my wallet in KMD. All right, uh, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna make a complete logout on the uh, light version of the wallet, and then I'm going to activate again um, the KMD on light version over here. I'm gonna put activate coin here, and they're gonna ask me for my seat. Okay. gonna paste it directly and I have my address back okay you see it is the same address you should you should do this like two to three times before doing any transaction in the light version of the wallet so I'm gonna um, specify uh, more things about the wallet later uh, first I'm gonna show you the use of the wallet uh, for making transactions okay so I'm gonna make a quick transaction. Uh, you have to know that before you make any type of transaction or you want to send funds from your native mode wallet because I'm using this uh, wallet, as you can see, is on native mode with Pixa. Pixa. Um, is that is a test coin that we use in some past um, stress test on um, barter decks. So I'm gonna send um, some Pixa um, to the address of my barter deck barter dex account here and um, what you should see um, as always a uh, normal uh, transaction you put your receiving address and the amount I'm gonna send 500 pixels um, to my wallet in or my smart address in barter dex have the process here is confirming that I want to send this uh, amount to this address okay and it will process it. Uh, it will give me a confirmation in a couple of seconds. Here is the text ID and there's the confirmation. Okay, so um, this is very important uh, for you to know that as long as your wallet is fully synced in 100%, you can make transactions and you can send uh, any amount that you want. If you don't have your wallet on 100% or sync you will not be able to send any transaction unless this gets uh, fully synced on 100 percent 
So I'm going to be quick on other features that we have. Uh, we have the UTXO splitter. So if you have been using Barterdex, you know that this is quite necessary right now. You put your address again here and you will get um, a split of UTXOs to your wallet or your smart, art smart address in uh, Barterdex. All other features are here, but I'm, gonna go, I'm not going to go into detail today with, uh, with them today. Um, other feature that we have for the wallet, uh, while you're running it on native or light mode, you can import uh, your seat uh, from light mode, and you can also import your private key if you have one here, and you can trigger a full rescan to uh, get your balance from other wallets or other accounts that you have into this wallet and then you can use them as you may wish so um, that's it for uh, the main function of the wallet now we're gonna go for the settings so I can show you other key features that are in the wallet that you can activate um, first uh, I want to show you here you'll see the application information all right um, then you can also select application configuration and here if you see I have this selected I have this switch um, it says enable experimental features with this uh, what you basically do is that you can add uh, the new coins that are coming on to our plat to our platform okay so uh, basically sometimes uh, if you don't have this activated you won't see some coins that are coming on coming new to our platform so by uh, putting this switch on you'll have to restart the uh, wallet again and when you come back you'll see your uh, these new coins that are coming uh, new to our, our platform so I'm gonna go ahead and select other options uh, you can also this is a, a very good option that you need to know about uh, about your uh, seat uh, basically what you do here is that uh, you put your seat and it will generate your private key you will have it here this is the address of my KMD and this is the private key of that address okay you can copy it directly over here it will always give you a notification that you already copied that um, whatsoever okay it's uh, just to be sure that you already copied um, the key that you wanted to copy so only on native mode remember you always have to save your wallet that uh, file I will say that if you're making transactions each day or constantly during the week um, you should always save your wallet that file for security reasons you can even put um, a date on the last time that you used your wallet that file so that you know which was the last transaction that you made on a specific date so I'm gonna select um, get the keys for my KMD native mode wallet and it should be popping now <clears throat> some of my uh, keys but uh, the main purpose of it um, I just close it and make it um, mistake there but the the main the, the main um, you can see that it found 89 keys for my wallet but you know the main feature that I'm trying to um, uh, show you is that all of these features can be activated in the wallet also you can also um, select with the uh, light version of the wallet the server that you want to use you have two options on servers for the electron server for your light version of your wallet okay so that's it guys um, if you need to activate a coin you know that you just come here you select the coin that you want to activate uh, I'm gonna select Bitcoin Cash in um, light mode and let's say Bitcoin Gold and that's the light version and it should pop out like this and it's very simple uh, to start using this wallet but remember first things first save your seat correctly um, check triple check double check that you have your correct seat okay this is the most important part of the wallet and that will enable you to have you a successful user um, experience with our product so um, let all read 
also all of the disclaimer read the white paper read everything about what we have in the platform and i think you will be doing good with us and you will be informed and you will be forward on any type of situation that you might have or any question that you might have in the future so i have i hope you have a very good day and be successful and stay tuned for more uh videos and guides okay ciao